Hey everybody, welcome to Worth a Watch with me, Tom Flores. It's December. We just had Thanksgiving, it's already December, it's flying, time is just flying. Insanity, I know. But this little video is about uh, not so much my favorite films of Christmas time, for those of you who celebrate it anyway. It, you know, I, everyone has a list. Everyone's got the list, especially on YouTube. Everyone's got a list of their favorite, favorite Christmas films of all time. Just ones they like, at least. Uh, or the ones they sit in, tune in to watch on TV, or actually have on DVD, Blu-ray. Just, just, it's a tradition that people, and I have mine too, but this little list is going to be a little bit different. This is a list dedicated to the top five Christmas films I have never seen, or at least all the way through. Yes, many of them will be shocking, but that is the point of this list, because everyone can do a top five list of their favorite films, and so on. There's too many to choose, actually. But I plan to do that later on this month, uh, much like Halloween, I am going to definitely do some of my favorite films, review them for you guys, and that'll be coming in the next few weeks. Just a few reviews whenever I can, uh, you know, to get them out there, some of my favorite Christmas films. So here we go, let's get this thing started. Number five on the list, A Christmas Carol. And yes, I got no specifics in regards to which ones I've never seen. I have seen anything from like the Muppets one, a few of the TV uh, version Christmas carols, the one with, I think, Patrick Stewart, I think. I've seen various versions, and I think this is a movie, I guess I have never seen the original, the one that started it all. I know technically there's even a few originals, but either way, it's at the bottom of the list because there's so many types of these movies in regards to just retelling this classic Charles Dickens tale. And I think it's a classic idea, plot, story, etc. I've just never truly seen some of the more original films such as Scrooge from 1951 starring uh, Alistair Sim or uh, even older films. I've never seen some of the more black and white ones. Uh, again, I've seen the Muppets one, but I've never seen the old school ones that started at all. So hopefully I get around to seeing it. But that is number five. Number four. Many of you will probably be willing to pelt me with snowballs and rocks right about now. I have never seen a Christmas story all the way through. That's where, it, just let me finish. Don't hurt me, just let me finish. I've never seen it all the way through. Yes, there is marathon after marathon, year after year of this film, 24 hours of a Christmas story. I know, TBS has it. And it's the great, uh, great Christmas classic that many people have just definitely have said that is their top favorite. Christmas movie of all time, for sure. Starring uh, Peter Billingsley as Ralphie, and just a great cast of characters, and it's anything from the, the bunny suit he wears to the leg lamp. That's what I remember for sure. I've seen, like I said, I've seen bits and pieces, but I've never seen this movie all the way through. As often as it's aired, or often as it's been reissued on DVD and all that good stuff, I have never seen it. I don't know why I've never seen it all the way through. I know people want to stab me right now, so I'm going to continue on with this segment. Next up on the list, guys, it is A Miracle on 34th Street. The original, not the shit remake from 1994. This is a 1947 film. From what I've researched, it sounds like a pretty awesome movie, especially in regards to Christmas films. It's one of the Christmas movies. This movie stars Maureen O'Hara, John Payne, Natalie Wood, and Edmund Gwynn. And for Gwynn, uh, from what I've researched, is that he won a Best Supporting Actor Award for playing Santa Claus. That's fucking awesome for a person who got nominated for playing Santa Claus. Something that people in commercials do. His portrayal of Santa Claus, or Kris Kringle, uh, from what I understand, playing a department store Santa Claus. And that's what he does in this film. The main plot is that uh, after the Thanksgiving Macy's Day Parade in New York, you know, uh, the, the main cast of this film thinks, you know, that they have to deal with, is this truly, is this guy truly the real Santa Claus? And then that's just the basic plot from there. And of course, the meaning of Christmas comes in in every, every which way imaginable. And that's the basic story. But either way, for being nominated for Best Picture as well back then, this has to be some Christmas movie. And I'm ashamed for not watching it. I feel stupid as this list goes on and on. It's They're always airing on TV. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. This movie sounds like a pretty awesome classic film. A very definitive one at that. Especially for Christmas staples. Uh, either way, it's a movie that I understand is a great film. Next up is A Christmas Vacation. The National Lampoon film starring Beverly D'Angelo and of course, the man of the hour, Chevy Chase. And uh, also Randy Quaid and a various, a, just a whole bunch of 
character actors in this. I, I, you know, Chevy Chase, man. I, I loved him in the first Vacation film. I've seen most of the European Vacation, but this one, never seen any of it at all. It was made in 1989, and it, it was just the third installment to this Vacation franchise. This is definitely the one on my list that I really want to see. I'm a sucker for comedies. And the basic plot of this whole movie is that uh, Clark Griswold, Chevy Chase, he just wants to have the good old-fashioned family Christmas. And while trying to find a good Christmas tree and dealing with family members and just, just, you know, from what I understand, I know the characters, I know of the story, but I don't want to know anymore. Because this year is the year where I finally see this movie, damn it. <laughs> so aside from that, I am ashamed more and more as this goes on. That is my number two spot. And we move on. Last, and definitely not least, on this top five list, It's a Wonderful Life. Now this movie stars the great James Stewart, an excellent actor of his time. Uh, I love Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. It's a great historical kind of film, political film, and I know he's a great actor. I've seen him in some other various movies too, and this was one of the few movies he did where it truly shined a light, even though it was technically a flop back then, but the basic story is that he plays a character where he has an attempt of suicide on Christmas Eve. He had a dark turn in his life, and then his guardian angel feels the need to step down forward to him and tell him, hey, you've done a lot of good for your life, and I'm going to show you what good you've done and the contributions you've made to the other people and the, the lives you've touched. That is a fucking awesome and just simple plotline story that I could ever hear. And the only reason why I think I've never seen this movie is because it's been done to death. For God's sake, Shrek Forever After did this plot. And I think that's what makes me not watch this movie more and more every year. Because I know the characters, I know the stories, and I know it's a different experience to watch the original that started it all, but still, it kind of makes you feel bummed to watch these movies and you're in... It's sad because so many other movies have either done this better or done it... More of them have done it worse, but... Not to go on a rant, but just... It sucks, because I know how this story will start and end before I even get around to it. And I think that's why I've held off on a lot of these movies on this list, because I know how they go, I know the ki I know everything about them, but I've just never seen them. And uh, aside from Miracle on 34th Street, I, I really don't know much about that film in general, but this movie, I know how it goes down. But I'm going to make myself see it this Christmas, because I know it is truly a genuine and heartfelt film. This is a legitimate truth. When I do videos, it's all the truth for the most part in regards to my opinions. And these are all the top five films that I have never seen in regards to the holiday that, that little holiday known as Christmas. So feel free to comment below, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you all feel like you're going to pelt some snowballs at me right now, go for it. I Just keep your comments tasteful, especially if you have some real hatred for the fact is I've never seen some of these films. I'm going to definitely make it a Christmas tradition to try to pull off seeing some of these films as well as my other films that I already watch. So, so that is my top five list. Hope you all enjoyed it, guys. Uh, I just felt that, you know, just change it up a bit. And I figured, well, being one of the few people out there that have never seen some of these films on this list, I figured, why not make a list about that I've never seen them before, and hopefully I'll definitely get to watching them. And maybe I'll review them as well. Uh, being such a newcomer to the film, everyone can review them, especially if you really watch them year after year after year. But in my case, I'll be having a fresh, open mind to them. So, regardless of what I've ranted on and said, I, I really respect these films for what they are. or a true Christmas tradition to many people out there. And this is something where I hope I can actually watch some of them, because I know they're beloved Christmas classics. So, that is my list. That is the video. Thank you all for watching, and so on and so forth. Uh, don't forget to click like and of course subscribe. Click the button wherever the hell it is now because this stupid YouTube page is garbage. Yeah, but we'll get used to it. We adapt. Change is good, I guess. So, yeah. So, that is the video. Thanks, guys. And of course, keep going to the movies.